Hello, I'm Brandon Dake, the registrar here at Heart Moment, and I'd like to welcome you to this week's Digital Dust It Off. It's sometimes a surprising fact to remember that during the period of incarceration, Heart Mountain was essentially Wyoming's third largest city, and it had everything a town would need, its own police department, fire department, hospital, and high school, as well as a thriving arts community. Alongside professional artists such as Estella Shigo, Bob Kuohara, Hideo Date, and Jack Yamasaki, were many amateur and neophyte artists, either practicing for the first time or pursuing the arts for their own pleasure. One such artist is the subject of today's video, Shishiro Miyayuchi. Miyayuchi was an Issei born in Japan in 1888 and immigrated to Vancouver in 1907. There he performed odd jobs, working in mines and as a dishwasher. He then left Vancouver to attend the Chicago Conservatory of Music to pursue his true passions of art and music. He then left Chicago to perform on the vaudeville circuit, singing everything from Italian arias to novelty songs. Miyuchi was living in Los Angeles in 1940, and so when evacuation came, he was sent first to the Santa Anita Assembly Center and then came here to Hart Mountain. At Hart Mountain, he decided to pursue his passion for painting. Uh, not only would he paint uh, landscapes, usually of the same scene, rows of barracks laid out before Hart Mountain with either a sun or a full moon in the background, frequently with two characters, either a man dressed in black or a woman in green. Uh, he would also mix his own paintings using coal dust, rice paste, and other natural pigment. He would then give these paintings to friends of his and his wife. Um, in 1943, Miyayuchi and his wife, uh, another painter, were commissioned by the camp administration to paint murals in the mess halls. Unfortunately, uh, none of those are preserved and we have no photographs of them. Art is a powerful artifact. It gives us a view of what camp looked like, not only realistically, but also how it was perceived by the incarcerees. It's also a tool for how incarcerees dealt with the trauma. Incarceration was a particularly difficult experience for the Issei. They had to give up lives that they had spent decades building after immigrating to America, often without any hope of being able to rebuild those lives once they were released. They rarely spoke about it, even to their own families, but they kept reminders, such as paintings from Miyayuchi, as reminders of the community and of the friends they had in camp. I hope you enjoyed this week's Dust It Off, and I hope you join us next week for more stories from our collection.